Hey, <laughs> how the devil are you? Okay, just a quick video today. Um, I watched a video on Facebook just recently, I think yesterday or the day before. I was curious, clicked on it. And there was a video showing uh, a mobile phone on charge. And when the mobile phone is on charge, there's an electrical current being passed through it. And they put an electrical tester by the phone and it took the electrical tester away and there was still an electrical charge passing through it. The current was that strong. They also put the phone to the ear and found that the current passed through the body to your hand, to the electrical tester. Now I thought, ah, come on, this is just clickbait. It can't be doing that. Surely not. So I thought I'd put it to the test. I have an electrical test. They're not the best one in the world, but it will test for electricity. So I want to put it to the test and I'm going to do it with you guys now. So let's crack on and see if this is the case. Okay, I've got my phone here. It's not on charge. Okay, it's on. Show you the power's on, but it's not on charge. So I'll just put this here, nothing. Okay, nothing at all. Now, I'll just plug in my charger. Put it here. So I just want to try something in a second. Now, let's have a look now. Okay, it's going mental at the moment, but that's not the worrying thing. The worrying thing is, is that it still continues. It's still detecting a charge, still detecting a charge. Still, there we are. Look up. Now, how many people sleep with a phone, either under their pillow or that close to their bed? So about here, and I know a lot of people keep that on this sideboard cabinet. So if you're sleeping this close to the phone, you're probably picking up an electrical charge. <laughs> and especially if it's under your pillow, which is worrying. Now, this is the second, so this is the first experiment they did. Now let's do the second experiment. So now I've got my phone to my ear to show you what it is on. There you go, right? And they're saying it passes through your hand. So then I test it in my kitchen and nothing. So it, it says it passes through your body to here. And I was like, well, that didn't work, so maybe they're wrong. But actually, I thought about something and then tried it in a different room with carpet. And it's to do with where the electricity is being grounded. So, because I'm on a tile floor, I'll show you now. Because my, because my floor is tiled, the electricity is probably passing through me and being grounded and out. So I'm okay on a tile floor. But a lot of us do it when we're sat in a chair or in bed. So let's go and try it sat on the bed. Okay, so now I've got it plugged in here, but I'm sat on the bed. So let's see if this does the same. So let's see if it does the same thing. Put my electrical tester on and then hold it to my ear and then touch the end of this. <laughs> Look, I go far away as I can. It's passing through me. If I put the phone down. Pick the phone up. How bad is that? So, as I said at the beginning of the video, is this clickbait? So I wanted to fact check uh, this video. And here's the video I've seen here. And here we are, it's got more than, it's been seen 50,000 times on Facebook and 600,000 times on TikTok. <laughs> wow. Um, so I just wanted to see whether what they were saying was true and whether it's dangerous. So on this one here, it said spurious. So just here, it says the video is grossly misleading. Andrew Wood, who chairs the Department of Health and Medical Science at Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne, well, that's a mouthful, <laughs> told AFP by email, adding that any cable with a connection to the mains and not connected to any appliance would do the same. There's nothing special about the phone in this regard, he said. And Eric Yeatman, who's head of Imperial College, London's electrical and electronic engineering department, why are their titles so, so such a mouthful, confirmed this and added other appliances would see a similar result. A phone charger has a unit at the wall end that converts dangerous mains voltage to harmless low voltage DC, which travels along the lead and into your phone, he said. According to Yeatman, a tiny amount of the mains frequency may 
be picked up by a voltage stick, but is generally harmless. Now, that worries me. Generally. He didn't put harmless in there. So, most of the times, it's harmless. So, when is it not? <laughs> so, I don't know whether it was a slip of the tongue, but generally harmless means it's not harmless all the time. So, I wonder about that comment. Anyway, so let's go back to what uh, this guy said here. He said that adding any cable with a connection to the mains and not connected to any appliance would do the same. So let's try this out. Okay, so I've got the cable off my laptop um, lead. Got it connected in and switched on. Now let's see if this does the same as the mobile phone charger. So I put it up against my head like I did before. <laughs> Would you believe it? It is doing the same. So they are correct that you can get exactly the same result off a lead that's not plugged in. So basically the same as a charger. Uh, whether or not it's dangerous, I don't know. I mean, personally, I wouldn't like a, a, an electrical current running through my body if I was on the phone for 40 minutes or stuck under my pillow all night. Um, I, I suppose it is harmless. It's, it's a, a very, very minute DC current, but still, personally, I keep my phone away from me anyway. I don't put it under my pillow. I don't talk with it, with uh, it connected to the charger. Because too, you're connected to electricity. It can always be dangerous. The battery could blow up. You don't know, do you? So anyway, you guys tell me what uh, tell me what you think in the comment section. Do you think do you keep your phone away from you? Do you keep it on charge? Do you not give a toss? <laughs> you know, it'd be interesting to know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.